hey guys welcome to my next video if you like to know how to use different font styles or font sizes in your text i'm going to show you how to do this in this video i'm going to talk about the different font sizes or font sizes in latex and how to use them keep watching up to the end of this video All right, now it's time to enumerate some of the most important font style in LaTeX. As a first case, I have the emphasis form. Emphasis form is ca is called by emf command. Emf command. Uh, yes, can please look at this part. And when I compile the the text, yeah, you see that how the font style. Uh, of the text is changed the the uh, the f command has a equivalent uh, form of calling it means that you have to put it into you have to put your text into a group and use the em command yeah em command yeah em command if i compile this file you see that once again the text is compiled by uh, emphasize font style another form of font style is normal normal form yes normal uh, normal font family uh, is another font style to use the normal font family i have to recall text normal command text normal command you see that when I compile this file you see that the, these words I mean most definitions uh, these words are compiled in a normal form uh, but the rest of the the rest of the my text uh, are compiled in an emphasized form emphasis form uh, the, the text normal command has another uh, equivalent form for calling in uh, I mean normal font yeah normal font command works uh, uh, the same as the text normal command but uh, the difference with the difference between these two uh, commands is the, the second one that i'm going to use them uh, is that uh, you have to uh, call this command into a group but the the previous one is you have to come you have to call the command before the grouping okay this is a difference that you have to know it when you are using this command and let me compile the text you see that the, once again most definitions are compiled in a normal form but the rest of one uh, are compiled in an emphasis form another another font style is uh, let me another font style is sans series font family which is called by text text s f okay text s f uh, if I compile my text oh what happened oh I have I have uh, one brace here but once again yeah, you see that how the Sansis font family is working. If I uh, if I want to use another form of this command, I have to I have to in, enter the command s uh, sf family into the group by compiling the command. You see that uh, the text is compiled in a Sansis font family. Another font font style is teletype font family teletype font family is uh, usually is used to uh, for typesetting of an email or a website uh, to use uh, this font family this font style i have to use the text tt command okay if i uh, if i compile my text you see that how uh, teletype font family is working another uh, another equivalent form of this command is tt family yes tt family and if i compile uh, the text you see the uh, the font family remains the same another form of the font style which is very famous is uh, italic form which is called by text it i say yes the results of the compile is 
our text is uh, compiled in a uh, italic form uh, uh, and another equivalent form of this font style uh, you have to put it into the group it, it is its shape yeah its shape means italic shape that you see when I compile it my text is compiled in a italic form uh, another form of another form of font style is slanted shape slanted shape is called by text sl yes sl which, which is very mm, very similar to uh, normal typeface but it is a, a little bit different in fact it is a secret a secret version of the normal form and if you if you like to mm, use this one for font style in a group you have to use sl shape yes sl shape works the same you see that they are the same um another font style family which is very famous in fact uh, um, especially for the entire entitling of sections uh, which is the small capitals yes yeah, small capitals uh to compile our text in a small capitals form i have to put input text s c yes small capitals you see that uh you see that all of the my text are uh, my text uh, are compiled in a small capital uh, equivalent form of this font family can be used by s s c shape a C shape yes you have to put your tag into a group and um, at the uh, at the beginning of the uh, group you have to put the SC shape if I compile it you see that the car the, the text is compiled in a SC shape or a small capital shape uh, we have the uppercase and this is another font family uh, that uh, to call this font family uh, I have to put the upper case command be before the grouping okay let me compile it you see that the all of my text is compiled in a uh, upper case but it doesn't have any uh, equivalent form uh, as, as the previous font families another uh, for the for the last uh, for the last one uh, which is very famous this is uh, this is the bold face okay the bold face to 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 show some part of your text in a bold face you have to put the bold the text bf command behind of it your text okay let me compile you see that all of my text is uh, compiled in a bold face and the equivalent form of this font family is bf bf series yes bf series yeah you see that uh, my text is compiled in a uh, both face font family these are um, some of the most important font style uh, fonts in latex that usually they are used uh, in a in your in your document and now it's time to pay attention to different font sizes to show different font sizes in later uh, i like to uh, type uh, for example uh, this is sample text okay uh, I like to show you this uh, these sentences in a different font sizes. Okay, uh, as a first size, I have tiny, tiny. Okay, tiny is the smallest size uh, in the LaTeX. Okay, I put this uh, this uh, text in a group and. Uh, at the beginning of the group i can put the command tiny let me compile this file aha you see that let me zoom in yes you see that uh, how how large is tiny okay another one is script size script script size let me compile it 
you see script size is larger than tiny another one is the footnote size footnote size if i compile the footnote size you see that the footnote size is larger than the script one a script size another font size is small small and if i compile it you see that small size is uh, larger than footnote size and uh, another one is the normal normal size yeah normal size you see, the normal size is larger than all of the uh, font sizes uh, that we have talked about it you see that one two three four there are four uh, font sizes smaller than font sizes and we have uh, five font sizes larger than normal size that we are going to uh, use them and the first larger larger font size is large large okay please note that the large is type in a small form okay if i compile the text you see that this is this is larger than the normal size another large command is typed by capital l large yeah here it is let me command let me compile it you see that uh how large this large is and another large command is uh, a large with all letters in a capital form large you see and uh, if i compile it you see that this large is larger than uh, uh, previous larges um another font font sizes is huge but with uh, small letters let me compile you see that the huge is a, a larger than all of the large font sizes and for the last for the last command for the font size we have another huge but with capital h okay if i compile it you see that this is uh, how uh, the huge command is working these are uh, most well-known font sizes uh, um, which is built in which are built in in the into the latex uh, if if you want to uh, use it special special size uh, you have to uh, you have to use uh, another packages that if it is necessary i will teach you but all of these font sizes which are built in uh, are enough for our purpose in the academic um, documents thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question please leave a comment below and uh, if you like this video Give a thumbs up to this video and be sure to subscribe my channel and click on the bell ring to get notified when my new videos are uploaded. Thank you so much. See you soon.